Hi, I'm Catherine Gray, founder of She Angel Investors and co-founder of the She Angels Foundation. I'm also the podcast host of Invest in Her and an award-winning producer, author, and TEDx speaker. Our show, Invest in Her, features phenomenal female founders and funders. As you know, women receive less than 2% of venture capital funding. Our series is about accelerating the funding of women by connecting them to funding resources. Let's meet today's guest. Welcome to this week's episode of Invest in Her. I'm your host, Catherine Gray, founder of She Angel Investors. And as you know, every week we have on amazing, extraordinary women. Today is no different. Uh, we have on the CEO of Ember Labs based out of Boston. They create wearables that actually impact your sleep, your anxiety, and even your hot flashes, ladies. Let's welcome to the show the CEO Elizabeth Gazda. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Catherine. Great to How be here. How are you? Doing well. Thank you very good. much. Good, good. How's everything in Boston? Is it hot? Actually, today is the first day of a fall breeze. So oh, beautiful. Entering beautiful. the season. Great. Um, so uh, you had shared with me that you actually were born in uh, Northern California. Uh, I see you went to Berkeley. Um, and then you ended up here in Boston and that's where you're coming to us from today. Uh, Ember Labs, I, I want to talk about how you got involved with them and what these cool wearables are that everybody's going to want to know about. Um, I know I do. Um, but first a little bit about you and your journey to, to this, because I see from Berkeley, you had a, uh, degree in anthropology and international uh, studies. So I, I, I'm so interested how you got into tech. Yeah, it's a, uh, it was, it was quite a path. Um, when I was studying anthropology, what struck me was that uh, I had a keen ability to understand different mindsets. And um, I wanted to pursue anthropology, but then um, met an anthropologist who said, well, actually what you're really interested in is business. So you should probably go to business school. And I decided that was the right path for me. Uh, and at the time I wanted to get an international business degree. But at that time in the nineties, US schools did not have MBA programs that were internationally focused. So I decided to go overseas to the Netherlands and went to one of Europe's top MBA programs that was international in scope, meaning that the students were uh, recruited from all over the world. It was a multicultural experience. Uh, some of my classmates were the first um, folks to come out of Eastern Europe and China. Wow. Um, and after that experience, I was recruited by Philips. Uh, you know, they're headquartered in the Netherlands. Yes, I saw that. I saw that you worked in, in product innovation for Philips for many years in the Netherlands. I was going to ask about, you know, how you ended up in the Netherlands. What an amazing experience that must have been. Yeah, it was a great experience because, you know, the Dutch are great at international business. Um, you know, they, they really crafted the first, the concept of the first multinational in the 17th century which wow. was the Dutch West Indies Trading Company. You know, you could hold shares as a member of the public in the form of a coin and they were all over uh, the world. And so the Dutch have been innovators in, in, in business for a long time. They invented the stock market. They invented uh, many financial instruments that we use today. So um, they have a historical reputation as being great traders and business people. Cool. I did not know that. Thank you for that history lesson. Um, and so you went on to start a couple of your own uh, tech companies, I see, um, after also working for some um, unicorn uh, tech companies. So you have an extraordinary background in this tech arena. Uh, what? Uh, tell us a little bit about you know your previous. Uh, tech products, and then why you stepped into this role at Ember? Yeah, I had a, a beautiful opportunity to work with some colleagues who were engineers who decided to build the Google Docs for uh, music notation. Oh. And so at the time, if you wanted to share a musical score with anybody in the world, um, it was locked down in proprietary software. It was not editable. 
Um, and what these founders recognize is that music is really the only international language. You know, writing a musical score is something that anybody can read and share and collaborate on, but if it's locked down and you can't edit it, uh, it makes it much more difficult. So uh, this was a, a very difficult uh, technical challenge to be able to edit a score in a browser. It seems very basic to us today, um, but we, we built the software and put it out on the web and grew that musical community. And then eventually um, we were acquired and we bootstrapped that startup because it was during uh, you know, 2007, 2008, where raising capital was uh, nearly impossible. So, yes. Impossible, yeah. Yeah, so a great lesson in entrepreneurship. And um, it was really when I had wrapped up a, the And what, what was the name or what is the name of that product? It's called Note Flight. How do you spell that? It's note and then the word flight. Oh, note flight. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Oh, because I have some friends just producing uh, like some Broadway musicals. I bet they must be using that. And if they're not, I'm going to tell them about it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I think they would like it. Yeah, great. Well, that's very cool. So what made you um, come over to Ember? And let's talk about what these wearables are and where you guys are at with this company. Yeah, I was working on another fintech startup that was international in scope. And we realized that we couldn't get a banking license in the United States for what we were trying to build. So I was winding that up and I got a call from a recruiter who told me that three young men at MIT had built a wearable device that could heat and cool and change your perception of temperature. And as a woman, I am chronically cold in any environment. And I thought I've got to meet these guys. So um, I met the founders, I tried the device. Here it is, uh, the second generation device on my wrist. And I was completely blown away by the technology, but also these three young men who were kind of your typical tech bros, you know, who looked at each other and said, none of us should be running this company. We're all technical founders. We've, we've, we've taken it this far. We really now need to bring in a business person. And we'd like to bring in a woman. Um, and that just doesn't happen very often. And so yeah. that level of self-examination, uh, the fact that they were really positive about the feminine qualities of leadership, um, it was very inspiring. That's awesome. We need more guys like that, don't we? Mm -hmm. um, and, and I can imagine, you know, this device is for hot flashes. Like who could understand that really better than a woman? Um, but uh, how, does, how does that work? So you wear the wearable, you have maybe problems with anxiety or sleep or hot flashes, or like you just said, you know, maybe you're always cold, which I know my wife is that way. Um, so they put that on and, and how does that work to regulate it? Can you, can you explain that? Yes, yeah, so um, beneath our skin in various locations in the body, you have a concentration of thermoreceptors. And thermoreceptors are, have a, it's a, a, a nerve ending that has unique properties. One of those properties is that uh, thermoreceptors are distinct from touch. So to explain, here's a cold glass of water I have in my hand. Mm -hmm. And part of my brain is processing its form factor and its weight, but there's a separate, whole separate pathway to the brain that's processing the temperature. And that pathway to the brain hits various networks. And we know this about the brain now that it's networks, not just you know chunks of gray matter that do different things. And temperature is processed in the same region of the brain that does other things. And one of those other things is balancing the autonomic nervous system. So for, you know, if you remember from your high school science days, the autonomic nervous system is your sympathetic uh, nervous system and your parasympathetic nervous system. And in lay terms, that's your fight or flight response and your rest and digest response. So if you're stressed out and you can't sleep, your, your sympathetic nervous system is, has overtaken your parasympathetic, parasympathetic nervous system. So you have to enact that to bring it back in balance. 
what we what we figured out through looking at physiology and the science of temperature is that temperature uh, can be used as a unique neural pathway to dampen down that sympathetic upswing. Wow. That means if you're feeling anxious or you can't sleep because you have racing thoughts, um, temperature can help with that. And we also discovered that hot flashes are really misunderstood. So people think that when a woman has a hot flash, there's a change in her core body temperature. So if we were to take a woman's temperature, there's some kind of change. There's no change. Wow. What a hot flash is, is an overactivation of your fight or flight response. Hmm. So when fascinating. Fascinating, right? So no wonder there's this concept of menopausal rage because imagine, you know, you, you approach the age of 50 and all of a sudden you can't sleep and you're having night sweats. And that makes you more anxious because your cortisol levels are going up because you're not sleeping. Then you're having more hot flashes. And so you're caught in this downward spiral of fight or flight. And so you need to break that cycle. And what we know is that if we can enact cooling quick enough with the device, we can stop a hot flash in its tracks. Wow. That's amazing. And, you know, I think this uh, not being able to sleep thing is like so prevalent, especially once you're over 50 and for sure over 60. Uh, so I've heard, <laughs> uh, but um, you know, I think that uh, what an incredible device. I mean, I absolutely, now that you've explained it, would love to get one. How are you all marketing this? How do people find out about it? Uh, do they order it from your website or is it in stores? Like, where are you at with this right now? Yeah, we, we sell directly from our website. Um, we are also on Amazon. And what, what is the name of the website and, and how would they find it on Amazon? Yeah, it's emberlabs.com is our website and that's E-M-B-R. Um, and then you can just search for it on, on Amazon. Ember Wave is the product. We're also available in CVS stores, not all of them, primarily the health hub stores. Um, and we're launching on Best Buy and, and um, also Walmart. Fantastic. That is amazing. And let's not overlook the fact that you all have raised $22 million and you are still raising money for those interested in investing. Um, no small feat, but look at where you're going, all the stores and distribution you have ahead of you, um, and I'm sure expanding all around the world. So great opportunity for someone to get in on the growth of your company as an investor. Yeah, and I think we're just starting to learn what else this device is effective for. So um, we have a very close relationship with our end consumers, and they tell us what they're using the product for. So we were completely blown away when we started getting emails from men saying, I'm being treated for prostate cancer. Those drugs throw me into a state of andropause. I have a hundred hot flashes a week and this really helps me. So we grabbed that information. We gave it to our chief medical officer she looked at the scientific literature out there, learned that hot flashes in men have never been characterized. We ran a clinical study with uh, Dr. Alicia Morgans at Dana-Farber, and we were able to show a 26% reduction in hot flashes in men that are on these drugs. That and is fantastic. It's the, the most moving part of the story is what we hear from these men saying, I feel like I got my life back. Oh, I mean, you know, isn't it so great when you're working on something that really helps uh, improve people's lives, you know? Um, and what it, what's the price point on these? If I wanted to buy it online or or buy it on your website at emberlabs.com. It's two ninety nine. dollars 99 mm -hmm. Right. Well, and it, I mean comes with a companion, it comes with a companion app that allows you to change modes, you know, from a fall asleep no mode, an all night mode, a hot flash mode, a thermal comfort mode. You can also move between warming and cooling. 
uh, you can change duration uh, and intensity. So that's good to know because I wouldn't want to put on that sleep mode when I get in my car. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's an app you can pick what it is you want. You're having a hot flash, you want to go to sleep, you're having anxiety. It kind of lets you program it for whatever it is you're you're dealing with at the time and you just wear it on your wrist. I saw it on your arm, right? Yeah, yeah. it's on the inside of my wrist here. Um yeah. we're also looking at um different form factors. Some women have said I I want something more discreet. So, we've developed a clip so you can wear it beneath your clothing if you want. Um, oh, we really try to listen to our, our, our consumers and help, you know, help them help us in developing the product. Right, right. It's definitely about listening to your, your uh, consumers, right? Um, well, what an amazing product. And uh, you guys are really groundbreaking here. And I hope people invest and also uh, buy your product now that they know about it. I'm sure uh, everyone's going to want to spread the word about this because who doesn't know somebody who can't sleep or uh, is having hot flashes or like you said, um, a lot of women, a lot of women get cold very easily. That is incredible that it can be changed just by wearing that wearable from Ember Lab. So thank you for sharing your story with us and this incredible product. What a breakthrough. And um, yeah, we're cheering you guys on and uh, can't wait to get the product. Yeah, we, we, we love hearing from our customers. So we'd love to get you a device and, and understand your experience and and also this has a broader applications just for thermal comfort. So, um, you know, when we first started, it was a product for general thermal comfort because the product can make you feel five degrees cooler or five degrees warmer within three minutes. And so oh, wow. we're going to need that with this global warming, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, and actually, uh, you know, a, a very interesting study that was done in 2018 looked at women's cognitive performance in offices that were over air conditioned. You know, this is, there's always a battle of the sexes in the office. And this study revealed that women who are in environments that are too cold uh, suffer a 30% cognitive decline. Wow, that so, is incredible research. Yeah, so temperature, yeah. you know, we, we take it for granted, but temperature is very impactful. Yes, Not yeah, only is it therapeutic, but um, it, it really impacts how we feel. Wow. Thank you for sharing that. That's that's really amazing. Um, and so can we also follow you on social media? Is is Ember Labs on there? Oh, yeah. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter uh, and Instagram. Great. And then um, also, I take it that we can find Elizabeth Gazda on LinkedIn. That's where I am. Yes. Okay, and good. everyone will also see our TV ads. We're on, uh, we're running a, a, a national television ad. So you may find us there. Oh, wow. So international ads uh, for the Ember wearables. National. So within the U.S. Yeah, fantastic. Oh, I can't wait to see that. Well, thank you so much for your time, Elizabeth. And uh, what an amazing product. And um Everybody uh, reach out to Elizabeth, look for their products on Amazon and on their website, Ember Labs. Of course, you can follow She Angel Investors and myself, Catherine Gray on Instagram at invest in her and visit our website, sheangelinvestors.com. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Remember to invest in her. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, Catherine. Appreciate it. Remember, if you're looking to launch a business or grow your business, check out our e-course, Six Ways to Fund Your Business, available at sheangelinvestors.com.